Stacker folks, I hope everybody's doing well and enjoying the end of their weekend. That's right, folks. It's Sunday today, and here at SBS, the end of the weekend also means Stack Pack Sunday. And so for this week's Stack Pack Sunday, we've actually got a wonderful SBS job. I think it's going to excite you all. Um, it's going to be featuring some Johnson Matthey and some Inglehart products. And we've got a pretty great price for a couple different products and a couple different options for uh, you, depending on your stacking size, right? Your stacking habits and your stacking strategy in the current present time here in the beginning of 2023. Now, uh, in addition to that, I've got a lot of other pieces here. And I promise you, all of these pieces aren't just random pieces. They're all here for for a reason they're all related to things that we're actually going to be unboxing or things that we currently have on special here on the website and I do want to forewarn you all this is going to be the last day that we actually have products available on the website until the start of March because like I've uh, told you a couple times in the last uh, recent couple videos I'm not sure if most of you caught that but we're going to actually be going into inventory mode for the month of February and so we're going to be spending time to kind of take a look at our inventory from the past all of the past sales get prepared for the tax season and we've also got a huge couple boxes which contain a lot a lot a lot of new products that we're going to be featuring here on the store so i'm super excited to be breaking into those couple boxes and showcasing with you the contents of those couple boxes throughout the month of february and so that's what you can expect for the month of february you can expect that we're going to be doing tons of unboxings showcasing a lot of new products that you haven't seen before because uh, recently uh, we were fortunate enough here to pick up a huge collection a huge huge collection of vintage silver and so we've got a whole bunch new of product offerings we actually initiated a trade with one of our frequent trading partners and we were able to initiate a nice trade for a lot of our vintage platinum and some of our fractional gold for a huge collection bought out a huge collection of vintage silver so I'm really really excited to be able to share those vintage silver pieces with you all because as you know that's what we specialize here in SPS and that's what we love to talk about here at SPS we just love our vintage silver and so before we get into the drops for today and before I explain to you how kind of our little flash sales are working and these by the way are gonna be a one day only flash sale they're gonna end at the end of the night and also at the end of the night we're gonna be disabling all the rest of the products on the site in preparation for our inventory in February. So uh, if you are looking to grab anything off the website, please go ahead and go on to silverbarstacker.com and go ahead and grab whatever items you want. But don't FOMO, right? We're going to be back up and running here in March and there's no reason to FOMO. You know, all, all there's plenty of products to go around for everyone. So if, you know, one thing's not available, then another thing, another 10 things will be. So without further ado, before we get into the specifications of this week's SBS drop, Stack Pack Sunday SBS drop, we're going to have to take a look at the packages that we've got in store. And I've got a nice box here, which I'm super excited about. I've got a few items in here to take a look at. And we've also got a nice package here by the Skullmeister, Scully, the mailman. I'm super excited to have picked up a couple nice pieces from my man Scully as you know Scully is the vintage silver king undeniably so I'm very very excited because we both share a huge affinity for vintage silver and so we initiated a nice little trade here and so I'm excited to show you what we got in here but I think before we get into Scully's package we're gonna have to go into this package because in my view I'm actually more excited about Scully's package because this contains something actually related to what's in Scully's package um, and it also contains a little bit more as well. So let's go ahead and see what the heck we're talking about rather than being all cryptic and not really giving you the full story about what's going on here. I believe there's something else in it. Yes. Now these are three pieces that I'm already a collector of. Uh, actually, two of them I'm already a collector of. Now this right here you'll see is a nice little flat one ounce bar and this right here 
you may recognize this. You've seen this probably on the channel before if you're a frequent of this frequenter of this channel. Now this right here, folks, is a C. Ryan and Associates one ounce bar. Now this right here was produced by USVI Ingot Company. So it's like your Amark Chunky Stackers, same company. Same company made this. Same company made this. So this is a very cool bar. I really love this bar. They're very, very difficult to come by. Um, they resemble the flat USVI stackers, um, of which there are a few. So take a look at that. And this one came with the original assay card, which I love. Got a few of these with the original assay card. Sometimes they're not always blue. Sometimes they come in white as well. I've been fortunate enough to get some of the original bags as well. So take a look at this. This is a C-Rain and Associates Precious Metals bag, little canvas bag. Now this holds a 10 ounce variety of this bar. So you got the one ounce variety here, which is pretty cool. Very cool in fact. Also got a 10 ounce variety. This is quite cool as well. So this, will, this will resemble your normal 10 ounce chunky stackers. Lot number 589. So this must be older than the normal 10 ounce Amark chunky stackers because those are in the 700s from what I've seen. Here's here's one with the white as a garden. I really like, uh, in addition to this canvas bag, check out this like leather, leather bag. This is also very neat. So this is just some, you know, I'm a big collector of USVI stuff, so I had to pick up another one of these C. Ryan and Associates bars because I saw it. So that's very cool. I'm very happy to pick that up. <clears throat> now, take a look at this. This is actually an Inglehard bar. It's an Inglehard bar produced for not Royal Bank, but the Royal Typewriting Company. <laughs> Royal Typewriting Company. So this bar right here is a 1500 minted bar. Got a couple, a couple more here. 1500 minted bar. There's not many of these out there. Now, what's unique about this bar, unlike that Colonial Inglehard bar I showed you a few days ago, that Colonial Inglehard bar, you flip it over and uh, the Colonial stamp is right side up, just like this Royal stamp is right side up, right? So you'll see this Royal bar, flip it like this and it's the stamp is right side up. Now we got some more Royal bars, you, you got them here, flip them like that, the royal stamp is right side up. So this this bar right here is something that we're going to be adding to this collection right here. Probably put this in a capsule as well. It's already pretty toned up. That's why I didn't mind holding it with my fingers there. Now take a look at these ones. Royal Typewriting Company bar, produced by Engelhart. You flip this over though, and whoa, it's upside down. Got actually fewer of these. We got fewer of the ones where they're upside down. <laughs> so this is really cool. I really like the royal stamp. I really like collecting you know, hard bars, generally speaking. So I was really, really excited to pick that up. Now this right here, you see something, right? Fine ounce or one ounce fine silver 999 1980. You also see some unicorn rounds over here, Hoffman and Hoffman. Like, take a look at this. Now what's the difference here? You got one ounce fine silver 999 plus 1980, and then over here you got 1981. Which, by the way, that's interesting because there's USVI chunky stackers. The most, the two most common varieties. There's the AM logo. Uh, that's the 1981 USVI chunky stacker, USVI A mark chunky stacker, and then you got the 1980, which is the A mark oval logo. That's kind of like the second most common chunky stacker. That's 1980. So it's kind of interesting that there's a lot of vintage pieces that, you know, around the around the 80s, 70s and 80s, but a lot, a lot, a lot around the 80s, right? All the prospector years, those are all in the 80s, right? It's just interesting. Interesting to note that a lot of these pieces are dated around the same same time frame, right? Because that's when there was a craze going. So, at any rate, I was very excited to pick up this round here because these these right here are Hoffman and Hoffman unicorn rounds. So this is kind of like the more more of a common common variety. I don't believe the vintages at all Inglehard.com are accurate. In fact, I just noticed when we had mentioned that on the YouTube um, channel, then the vintages are kind of increased. 
than compared, I, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but I believe when I was looking at them recently, they were even lower than they currently are, but they still seem a little bit low, you know. But anyways, regardless, it gives us a good indicator, a much better indicator than we'd otherwise be able to get. So take so take a look at this. You got a 1981 round here, and you got a 1980. <clears throat> so this one has the unicorn, as I just said. And this one doesn't have the unicorn. This one just says Hoffman and Hoffman, and it's got a single dot there on the bottom. You see that? Single dot. So this is a little bit more rare variety of the Hoffman and Hoffman rounds. In fact, quite a bit rare. I rarely ever see these. In fact, the only time I've ever seen these is when I got this. So I had. That's why I got it because I had never seen this before. These I see pretty frequently. The unicorn ones. In fact, we sell these on our site. It's a product on our site. But this. It's the only time I've seen this. So I was really excited to pick up this one dot Hoffman and Hoffman one ounce round. This is a 1980 dated round. That's really cool. <clears throat> that was a nice pickup for me. Really, really made me happy about that pickup. So, let's see what the Skullmeister has in store for us. Let us see. Let us see. Thanks, Scully. Really, really happy about this trade. A good trade. You know, good buying, a good selling process happens when both parties are very happy about it, right? That's what makes a good trade. You don't want your LCS constantly taking advantage of you, nor, since they help you out frequently with good prices, I mean, I'm assuming you go shop at a place where they give you pretty good prices and good customer service and, and then some, right, if you have options. Uh, so, since they treat you well, you should also treat them well, right? If they don't treat you well, you shouldn't be dealing with them in the first place. <laughs> so anyways. So anyways, let's take a look. Really nicely packaged by the mailman. Of course, he was a mailman, right? So it would be nicely packaged. He even gave me a nice velvet bag. Now this is too much, buddy. Not too much, but it's like very classy. Scully. I don't do this. I don't have, um, I have, I have actually suppliers that I, um, that I buy from and they provide me with nice bags like this and I really appreciate customer service like that. But this isn't customer service, Scully. This is us just doing a friendly trade. I, I really appreciate the thoughtfulness, so that's really nice. Hey, SPS. Here are the two Hoffmans. It's been a pleasure working with you, Scully. It's been a pleasure working with you. I'm very, very excited. See, me and Scully have different goals, right? And uh, so we help each other achieve each other's goals. So now these right here are also 1981 Hoffman Hoffman runs. We're just looking at Hoffman Hoffman runs. So you would think, okay, 1981. Well, I know enough about Hoffman and Hoffman rounds to know what's going to be on the back of this. 1981. It's obviously going to be a couple more unicorns to add to the stack, right? <clears throat> Let's open this up. Yeah, they're both 1981s. Well, it's obvious. We're all we're already Hoffman and Hoffman experts, so we already know what's going to happen here, right? So we're, we expect to see some unicorns on the other side. <laughs> Whoops. What's going on here? So now we've got um, similar. Not at, not at all the same. Similar. You've got smaller text with the Hoffman and Hoffman. you got a less, a less thick and a, a less matte finish Hoffman and Hoffman logo in the middle and instead of a single dot you got three dots you got three dots folks now these rounds that I got from Scully I'm not sure where that where the heck I don't know what what the heck happens in Scully's uh, LCS or where the heck he, he I don't think he actually picked these up from his LCS but regardless all I'm saying is that he comes across some very, very rare pieces, and I was very, very excited to pick these up because these, my friends, these two rounds, which I'm so stoked that he freaking managed to get two, but these rounds right here, from my understanding, are twice as difficult to find as this round. And I told you already that this round is the only time, this round that I purchased, when I purchased it, that's the only time I've seen it available for sale, personally. I mean, I haven't been looking for a long time, but 
Uh, it's the only time I saw it available for sale, and so I had to snap up and grab it. Now these rounds, I never thought I would see these because these are, from my understanding, twice as scarce as these. So Hoffman and Hoffman, really, really excited about these pickups. Um, I finally, you know, have fixed my collector's itch of having a few uh, Hoffman and Hoffman pieces that I wanted. Now let's get down to the last piece of business. As I said, we're closing down for the month of February. We're going to go through, do our inventory process, take a look at all the uh, past sales from the past uh, fiscal year and prepare for the next fiscal year. And while we're doing that, we're going to be revamping the website. We're going to be giving it a little bit of a facelift and we're going to be adding a ton of new products. As I said before, we did a massive trade which we initiated and that involved us consolidating some of our fractional gold, some of our vintage platinum, and we kind of consolidated that and picked up even more vintage silver because we know people at SBS, they like silver, right? They like vintage silver in particular and so we want to make sure that we're fully stocked up and so I'm really, really excited to show all the pieces that we're gonna have piece by piece showing me all these new interesting products some of them you've probably never seen before so I'm really really excited about that fact and uh, as I promised you we are gonna have one last big SBS sale before we close down for the month of February and that's gonna involve some Johnson Matthew silver bars and some Engelhard prospector rounds now uh, been doing a little bit of market research we've and I and I can definitively say that $35 uh, per round for uh, prospectors is a pretty solid deal in this in this current market um, we regularly sell them for 40 plus right now in this current market and uh, for Johnson Matthew bars as well we are regularly selling those for over 40 now we're gonna be having a nice little sale here and you know there is no pressure. We have more prospectors and more JM bars for when we return and when we resume in March. So you don't need to FOMO right now. If it's not in the budget, don't FOMO, right? Just because we're closing down for the for the month, it does not mean you'll have other places to get silver. There's a million places to get silver for the next month, right? So don't don't FOMO so hard. There's other places to pick up vintage. A lot of people are starting to sell their uh, vintage as well. So SPS isn't the only place to get vintage, right? But we will resume. We'll have all these same products available for you uh, in the start of March. But that's these are the products that we're going to be putting on sale, flash sale, just for today. And as of tomorrow, these will not be available. None of the products will be available. Okay, so the JM bars, $40 a bar. There is a limit, but it's a pretty high limit, okay? You can purchase up to 20 bars, okay? And the reason that we're limiting it at 20 bars is because the more you purchase, the more layer of value you're able to add to your purchase, right? Um, if you purchase one bar, then you can get a single sealed bar that's serialized, very cool. But you can purchase up to 20, and if you purchase 20 units, let's say, you would get 20 sequential bars. Se 20 sequential cereal bars. JM. If you bought 20 of them. So they're $40 an ounce. You can buy one. You can buy 20. You can buy 10. You can buy eight. Whatever you want to do, you can do it. However many you buy, you can rest assured that they will be sequential cereals. Okay? So this is your opportunity to grab a nice sealed sequential set of a size that fits your budget, or if you're just trying to grab a single bar, go ahead and grab a single bar. $40 an ounce. I think that's a pretty good deal. If you wanna take a, take a advantage of that, you can feel free to do that. We've updated the pricing on our, um, on our listing for the JM bars, $40 an ounce, and you can purchase those in intervals up to 20. Okay, pretty cool. Prospector rounds. Prospector rounds are going to go on special right now. That's also going to be a limit of 20, okay? Prospector rounds are going to be a limit of 20. You are going to get these for $35 a round. $35 an ounce. That's way cheaper than you're going to be able to get, get them, I think, most places, right? Good price for prospector rounds. Not sure what year or design you're going to get. It's going to be random, but we're going to give you a nice, authentic, Inglehart prospector round. The limit on these is 20 as well. The reason we're limiting that to 20 is because we can fit about 20 inside a tube, right? So if you if you pick up 20, we'll give you a nice generic tube to put all your um, to secure all of your prospector rounds in. Okay, so 
$35 an ounce for prospector rounds, $40 an ounce for Johnson Matthew bars. Now, there is one more layer of funness to this because these are just really flash sales, right? We are updating our pricing for our JM bar listing to, you know, 40 bucks an ounce. We're updating our pricing for the uh, prospector listing to $35 an ounce. And you can go ahead and purchase, you know, those, those products. Now, the actual SPS drop is going to be a combination of both of these products and so that's where you see the real discount that's where you save a little bit extra money on the premium and when i say a little bit extra money i'm not just talking about a small amount of money i'm talking about saving another two dollars and fifty cents per ounce on the premium how do we do that easy we we require that you purchase one of each so you'll purchase a single prospect around and you'll purchase a single jm bar and that, instead of costing you $40 plus $35, which is $75, it's going to cost you $70. $70 for a single prospect around random design, random year, and a single JM bar sealed and sealed uh, and serialized. Okay, $70 bucks for a sing for two ounces of vintage silver. That's pretty cool. And now for this, the same rules apply. You have a limit of up to 20 per person, per household, per online account, per address, right? Just just be fair, right? I mean, we have plenty of these to go around, but let's just keep it fair. Let's keep the um, order sizes reasonable, okay? So you can go up to 20. Now that means you can pick, you can literally buy up to 40 ounces, you know, for this drop. So I think that's a pretty good pickup, pretty good size pickup. I mean, I know some people stack even more than that. Sorry, this 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 drop is not for the people who stack, you know, 100 ounces at a time. You can stack up to 40 ounces if you max out this drop. How, what does maxing out the drop mean? Maxing out the drop means you do um, tw 20 times 70, <laughs> whatever that is, right? Probably 1,400 bucks, right? If you did just 10, you would get a, a set of 10 sequential Johnson Matthew bars plus 10 random design, random year, Engelhardt Prospector Browns. If you did 20, you would get a sheet, a full sheet of 20 sequential serialized Johnson Matthew bars plus a tube, a full tube of 20 Prospector Browns. So we just toss these all on the tube and call it a day, right? So that's what the sale is today, folks. You got John, JM on their own for a nice price, 40 bucks an ounce. You got prospect rounds at a nice price on their own for 35 bucks, or you can save yourself $5 per two ounces, $2.50 on the premium, and get yourself commit to two, one of each, right? A JM bar and a prospect round. And you can do that up to 20 units, okay? So the link to this week's SPS drop is live in the description, and I'm also gonna include the normal listings, the regular listings that we have for JM bars and prospect rounds if you're just looking to stack like a single ounce. All right, folks, thanks a lot for tuning in, and be on the lookout throughout the month of February for a bunch of preview videos of all the new products that we are unboxing from this and this. Ow, 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 ow,